The following is an ESG video blog. Hi, I'm Jason Buffington. I'm the senior analyst at ESG covering data protection. For the past few years, we've seen significant interest in leveraging cloud services as part of one's data protection strategy. In fact, in ESG's last two annual IT spending intentions reports, when asked about the use cases for cloud-based infrastructure services, improving data backup was number one, and disaster recovery was number three. There are lots of different ways to gain backup services, including augmenting on-prem backups with cloud storage, all the way to a full-fledged backup as a service, BAS. Similarly, for business continuity disaster recovery goals, you might utilize colo space, you might use infrastructure as a service in a hybrid architecture, or a full-fledged DR as a service, DRAS. With so many choices, it can be really confusing, so I'd like to offer what I believe are the single biggest differences uh, between them, which is data flow and orchestration, which will ultimately affect your agility and your business outcome. From a data flow perspective, most backup technologies transform the data as part of transmitting it to the secondary repository, on-prem or cloud, which is what necessitates doing some kind of a restore to get it back. The transformation usually optimizes for storage, but can limit the immediate usability or the recoverability of the data unless you restore it or basically untransform it back to its original state. In contrast to that, most BCDR and availability technologies replicate the data in closer to their original state, which makes the data more immediately usable when needed. One method is not better than the other. Backups optimize for multiple versions, while replicas are designed for usability of typically only the most current version. There are exceptions to the rule, but in general, the more immediately usable the data, the less transformed it is within secondary storage, and that's a trade-off between storage efficiency and IT resiliency. The other main differentiator is workflow orchestration or automation. It's one thing to have copies of VMs sitting in some secondary repository someplace, but availability and BCDR are more than just powering them up. For example, if you have a multi-VM application with a few web front ends and connected to middleware, being serviced by a pair of database servers, all of which have to be authenticated by Active Directory, you can't just highlight those eight VMs, right click and say, power on. You have to have a workflow. You have to have automation that's defined in advance and runs when you need it. Those same orchestration automation mechanisms can also give you sandbox testing. So you can test the ability to bring VMs online without impacting production. Or you can test the recoverability or the restorability of, of VMs with even granular data within that VM on a regular basis. There are other differences, but I hope this starts to get you thinking. Both kinds of technologies, whether implemented within public or dedicated cloud services, in a hybrid architecture, or even just between on-prem locations, all provide huge value in modernizing one's data protection capabilities. Just understand what you're getting and be clear on what you need. I hope this was helpful. I'm Jason Buffington for ESG. Thanks for watching.